Hi, Goodreads friends, it's Gia Tolentino. I'm here to give you a virtual tour of my apartment where I wrote Trick Mirror in this one room right here, which you have now seen the entirety of. I wrote it at this desk with Monkey Jesus watching over me. I painted him myself. And just to answer a couple questions that y'all submitted on the website, one of them was, how are you? Very nice of you to ask. I am great, actually. I'm sweating because it's 90 degrees in New York today. And also I'm eight months pregnant. And another question that one of y'all asked actually was how I feel about the conventional expectation that women should have children. And it's funny, you know, I feel like it's arguably ethically inexcusable to reproduce at this point in time. And yet here I am, here many of us are. So obviously that conventional expectation, like all the rest of them, you know, it's bullshit. I will say that with expectations specifically surrounding motherhood, I've just been trying to frame as many of them as optional as possible. Like, you know, the kid doesn't have to have my partner's last name, they can have mine. I don't have to be the primary caregiver, you know? Ideally, my primary caregiver is Luna, who's also dead from the heat, but we'll see how that works out. You know, I'll also give you a little bonus sneak peek of the, you know, the nursery right here in this closet that we took the doors off of. There, is my overflow book storage. I'm always running out of space. Um, and book wise, a lot of, I've been kind of cleaned out of all my favorite books lately because at the beginning of the pandemic, I just dropped off big bundles of books that I thought my friends would like at their doors because everyone was like, wait, I need books all of a sudden. Where am I gonna, you know, how am I gonna pass the time? And that was fun, but that shelf by the mirror is like stuff that I've queued up and wanna read soon. Up there is, uh, theory and poetry and short stories. Here is nonfiction, memoir, and then straight nonfiction. Fiction starts here, then it goes into the overflow. Um, and wow, two minutes passed fast, but I'll, you know, I'll just shout out a few of the books that I have loved this year and come out in 2020. I felt, I felt really guilty that my book came out at a time when people can go to bookstores and hang out and you know, so many amazing books have come out this year and their authors are not gonna get the chance to really feel the vibes. And I hate that. So here are just a few of them that I have loved. Um, Children of the Land, A Burning, Minor Feelings, No Thank You, Cool for America, Luster, and Real Life. Those are some of my faves. Uh, anyway, I guess it's time to go, but thanks for hanging out in my apartment. And Luna thanks you too. And I hope you all have a great day.